Breaking news, ChatGPT and OpenAI have just released OpenAI 03 Mini. It's now available in ChatGPT and the API. You can see it was just announced one hour ago and pro users will have unlimited access to 03 Mini and plus and team users will have triple the rate limits. Free users can try 03 Mini and ChatGPT by selecting the reasoning model and you can see an example of it right here. One of the most insane things about this is the most powerful but most dangerous model OpenAI have ever released. You can see here that before deployment, they carefully assess the safety of O3 Mini and we'll be testing it out today. So let's run through the details, the benchmarks, etc. So OpenAI O3 Mini is the newest, most cost efficient model in the reasoning series. And this also includes function. And interestingly, they've said that this includes developer features, including function calling, structured outputs, and developer messages, along with support streaming. You can see the benchmarks right here. So if we compare, for example, O1 Preview versus O1 versus O3 Mini High and Medium, right? So O3 Mini High is outperforming all the benchmarks, outperforming O1 by quite a long way from 87.3 versus 83.3. In terms of PhD level science questions, O3 Mini High is outperforming all the models like you can see. And for coding, so you can see here competition coding, OpenAI O3 Mini achieves progressively higher ELO scores with increased reasoning effort, all outperforming O3 Mini. And you can see the performance right here. Software engineering also, and also for human preference evaluations. So they've said evaluations by external expert testers also show that OpenAI O3 Mini produces more accurate and clearer answers with stronger reasoning abilities than OpenAI O1 Mini, especially for STEM. You can also see how it performs on safety metrics right here. So if we go directly into ChatGPT now, we can see O3 Mini and O3 Mini High, right? So O3 Mini is faster at advanced reasoning and O3 Mini High is great at coding and logic. So let's compare the two different options here. So we're gonna test them out right now. I've said to ChatGPT O3 Mini, create a one-page website for the niche, blah, 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 and it has come back so quickly. Look at that. Thought about it for four seconds. And then it came back and did the HTML, which is absolutely amazing. I've never seen a new model from ChatGPT come out that quickly. ChatGPT O3 Mini High, which is a more powerful model, took 17 seconds to develop. But we'll compare the outputs to see which one is better side by side. This has blown me away by how fast and easy that was to use. So we're going to grab the HTML now. We can't preview it directly inside the chat. So it doesn't seem like, for example, you can use a canvas directly inside ChatGPT with O3 Mini. You have to test the HTML as well. But let's test this out, see what we've got. We have a website built in literally four seconds. That's how long it took from O3 Mini. Amazing. It looks pretty good. It's good to go. It's got links to our funnels. That is working perfectly really didn't take time at all and you can see how quick and easy that was used absolutely amazing let's test this one out so that was the output from o3 mini now we're going to compare the output versus three high very similar outputs right there obviously it took a lot longer and the thing to note here as well is you probably don't need o3 high most of the time right o3 mini is going to do its magic quicker and unless you're really testing the limits of the model then o3 mini is probably going to do its job right so this is o3 mini medium Here's the other thing as well. So you can actually search the web now, which you previously couldn't do with O1 when I tested out the other day, unless you were using the O1 mini model. So if we say, for example, okay, what are the latest AI headlines today? Let's test out the search feature. Doesn't seem to come back to me on the first attempt. Let's see if the second attempt works better. Something to bear in mind, and I'm just being completely transparent with you, right? The model is not gonna be perfect day one. And this is a lot slower as well to pull in the results on search. Just something to note there as well. So we're going to compare both now. Now it's grabbing the latest news. Now this is lagging behind a little bit. So you can see here inside the search here that's pulling results from December the 24th, 2024, which is of course, that's over a month ago. So it's not the latest headlines from today. So there are still problems that you can see inside ChatGPT O3 Mini. It may be at the level of PhD science, but at the same time, it's still getting a bit confused inside the reasoning but let's see what it comes back with it doesn't seem to have given me analysis it seems to be a lot slower on the search feature there let's see what we got yeah so it's giving us headlines from 2024 
even though we asked for the latest headlines today. So you can see that the model is still not perfect, right? At the same time though, also you can see it mentioned OpenAI's O3 mini launch inside the logic and reasoning, right? So it's doing the reasoning, it's doing the thinking there, but there is no mention of that inside the latest headlines from today, which is interesting. So I thought, why wouldn't it pull in the latest details? So it's okay, but honestly, I think you're probably gonna get better results with perplexity. It would be interesting to combine the power of reasoning with today's search results, but you don't seem to get that inside O3 Mini. Let's see what ChatGPT did. Here we go, this is much better, right? So it says, blow are several of the most talked about AI headlines making waves as of today, February the 21st. So already the results are better. It talks about Quen 2.5 and Alibaba's release, much better. So O3 Mini High, you can see a huge difference versus O3 Mini. Let's keep going now. I'm gonna to say to both, create the world's best Space Invaders game. We're gonna remove search, we don't need search anymore. Also, just one thing to note, you don't get to attach files inside O3 Mini, so you can't insert files, etc. I'm gonna switch off search here as well. And it's just so quick. I've just never seen a chat GPT release that responds so fast. That is one of the things that's blown me away today. It's a lot faster than, for example, like Deep Sea Car 1 or any other reasoning model that I've seen. O3 Mini High is obviously going to take a bit more time because it has to think more. But even then, it's already finished by the time I finish talking. So let's compare these results. We've got O3 Mini over here. We have the Space Invaders game from O3 Mini that we've plugged in. And that does not work at all. And those images are not working at all. Let's see if the actual game itself works. It does, but the background is very weird. Look at that background. It's requesting images from Imgur, which are no longer available. It seems like hallucinated code there or something like that. So let's compare now O3 Mini High. We'll plug that in, look at that. Now that sort of works, but actually I'm not controlling the green one. I'm controlling the white one, which doesn't make sense. And you can see it's a bit laggy, doesn't seem to quite work right there. So there's still bugs inside the code that I think, honestly, you could get better results from other models as an example. Let's compare that versus DeepSeek R1. So we've used same prompt. It's taken us 12 seconds to generate that. And then we've got the HTML code ready to go. And if we run the HTML, which we can do inside the chat, you can see here it is working perfectly. Look at that. Okay. Now bear in mind, this is a code from O3 Mini High and it doesn't work at all, right? Super, super buggy. I can't control the green man. Whereas this one works perfectly as you can see. So in terms of coding, we're still getting better outputs from DeepSeek R1 so far in the tests. However, I do love the speed. It was much faster to get a response from ChatGPT O3 Mini than it was from DeepSeek R1. Let's keep going now. So what I'm going to say now is, gene is generate some generic AI fluff content. And you can see this content right here. The reason that we're doing that is because we want to get something that's 100% AI detectable. If we run that through an AI detector like Zero GPT, hit detect text, that is 100% AI generated. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and humanize that using this test right here. So let's start a new chat. We'll take the content, the AI, 100% AI generated content right there. And we're going, to, we're going to use this prompt, which is humanize this so it bypasses AI detectors 100% of the time. Must be 100% non-AI detectable. We'll plug that in and we'll do the same inside O3 Mini High. Here we go. I do like the fact that you can use both models side by side. That is great because you are going to save a bit of time. It does make things easier. And it's also really easy to compare the models. So we have the content back now from O3 Mini. Let's grab this, copy it, in here. copy it, plug it into zero GPT, hit detect text. And that is still coming out at 100% AI generated. Look at that. Not ideal, my friends, not ideal. Chat GPT O3 Mini High is still having to think about this. It's been 44 seconds so far. So let's see what we get back. We're going to use the same prompt inside DeepSeek R1 just to compare them, see what we can do. So we've put exactly the same prompt inside DeepSeek R1 and we have the content back from O3 Mini High. So let's grab that. We'll go into zero GPT to tech text. And that's coming out as 78% AI generated, which is, I thought it would do much better than this. I've tested this exact same prompt inside O1 and it's done far better before. Let me show you an example. So if we go inside O1, we'll plug the exact same prompt like you can see and we've also got the content inside deep seek r1 so let's see how deep seek r1 performs versus o3 mini and o3 mini high bear in mind o3 mini 
100% detectable. O3 mini high, 78% detectable like you can see. Let's see how Deep Sea Gal 1 performs. We'll grab the content, we'll plug it in. Look at that, 5.3% non-AI detectable. Deep Seek R1, the free model, and the older model is still performing better than O3 Mini High in most of the tests that I've done. But in, now, O1 actually refused the request, and O1 Mini doesn't seem to be on the list anymore, so we can't use that. That has shocked me. All right, so one final test. Let's see what it's like for writing. Obviously, these are not models designed for writing, but we've tested out for coding. We've tested out for building games. We've tested out for logic and humanization. So let's test it out now. We're going to say inside this model, create an SEO optimized article for this. Best SEO speaker for content creation, do this. And I'll give you some source context about me. And then just like some writing style guidelines, like for example, first person, write like Alex Mosey, et cetera. We'll plug that into O3 Mini. We'll do the same inside O3 Mini High. And we might as well plug it into Deep Seek R1 whilst we're here. So let's see what we got now. So both articles have used the source context for me. The Deep Seek R1 article is over here, and the ChatGPT O3 Mini article is over here. And if we compare them, so for example, the title Best SEO Speaker, Real Talk on Becoming a Standout in the Field. I wouldn't say that's as good as what makes Julian Goldie the best SEO speaker right now and why you should care. So I'd say the titles are better here. Let's compare these. So it says, what are, so ChatGPT O3 Mini. If we have a look at this section of content, it says, what are the real challenges you face? Are you tired of the same old jargon? Do you feel overwhelmed by the buzzwords and endless advice on SEO, blah, blah, blah. I just don't think that feels as humanized as this one that says, I built a seven figure link building agency from my kitchen table. Now I've got a team of 50, two best selling books and over 70K YouTube subscribers. This content just feels so much more humanized than this one over here. Let's see what we got back from O3 Mini High, see if it's better. Obviously it's not a writing model, like I said, but we can test it out. So ever, I would say the content may be even worse in this one. So it says, ever sat down with a cup of coffee and wondered who truly stands out as the best SEO speaker? I get it, I've been there myself. I do like coffee, but it's just not as good. It's not as good as uh, the content that you've got from here, which feels way more humanized. So for example, but Julian, why should I trust you? Fair question. Let's just topics I crush on stage, right? It's just a, the content here inside Deep Seek I want is much, much more humanized. And I would use this article. Also, bear in mind for this article, which I am ranking number one for, the search intent is looking for the best SEO speaker, right? So Deep Seek R1 actually answers the search intent by recommending me as the best SEO speaker. If we go inside the search intent of the content from O3 Mini High, it just starts talking about content. It starts talking about like SEO strategies in the middle of the article, which is not really relevant to the search intent, right? Then it starts talking about like practical tips for becoming the best SEO speaker. Whereas what people are really looking for inside the articles is the best, right? The answer, which is what we've got, for example, inside my article that ranks number one for this keyword. So honestly, I love the speed from O3 Mini. Like that's absolutely great. I'm just not that impressed by the results from my test so far, but let's see, maybe it'll be tweaked or fine tuned. I'm excited to experiment with the API as well. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get free access to all of my best prompts, including 200 free chat GPT prompts, 50 free AI SEO tools, and a free course with over 230 video tutorials and SAPs on exactly how to use AI for SEO. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. You also join a community of 3,700 members who are all interested in AI and SEO like you see right here. If you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to put that in. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a free SEO domination plan. Discover the secrets of SEO link building. Or answer any questions you have, you learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank you for SEO link building and how to turn SEO, SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Make sure you check out the AI Profit Boardroom. It shows you all my best cutting edge automation systems with AI to help you make more money and save hundreds of hours with AI. Link in the comments description. You can join it now. And it also comes with weekly coaching calls directly with me, specifically focused on helping you make more profit with AI. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.